Hi there, everyone. My name is Prerak Juthani. I'm a third year internal medicine resident. And today I'm in the lovely call room, which means I'm on a long shift and I'm trying to create a video for you all. My shift just ended and I figured I would share the way I set up my workstation. This is very uh, common question that a lot of people often have because healthcare can be very overwhelming and there's a lot of things we have to document, a lot of information that we have to synthesize. And oftentimes the built environment, AKA the workstation that you create is gonna help you establish or achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. So today I'm gonna to physically show you my workstation, how I go about writing notes, the way I kind of set everything up to make sure that we can provide great care for patients. So let's get into it. For context, I am in the workroom. And if you haven't already, I created a separate video about what a call room looks like. And this functions as both a call room and a workroom. And today I'll be walking you through my workstation right there. Let's go. All right, so here it is. And I'm gonna walk you through all of this very slowly because initially it can be overwhelming. The first thing I always make sure that my workstation has is a phone. You need to be able to call the operator. You need to be able to call the ED. You need to be able to call your colleagues when things come up. You can't always be relying on your cell phone because you may not always have service. So that's why the number one thing I always look for at a workstation is a phone. It makes it easier to reach out to people and gives me another line to do so. The second thing is the computer. The computer is helpful and I almost always use the main computer at the desk for everything related to the electronic medical record. This is where I type all my patient notes. This is usually also where I log in. This is something that not a lot of people know about, but I actually have an iPad. This was an iPad that was given to me by my medical school. The iPad can be very helpful because it, again, they have a epic version on the iPad called Canto. Canto is basically the desktop epic, but catered more toward a smaller screen. It can also help me look at labs. And so if I'm looking at a patient's chart here and I'm documenting a note, I can have their chart pulled up here. I can look through their labs. I can look through their imaging findings. You'll see that when you're actually typing a patient's note, it's very hard to have their data in front of you. And so that's usually what this smaller screen allows me to establish. If I'm very lucky at a workstation, I usually also look for one of these. For those of you who have been in the hospital, you may know what it is. And for those of you who haven't, you may not. I'll walk you through it. This is something that records your voice. When I press this middle button, it will automatically start recording what I'm saying and transcribe it into text. That transcription will then directly be on my computer that I showed you in front of me. And then I can copy and paste that transcription directly into my patient note. This is particularly helpful because Believe it or not, typing is not as fast as talking. So now watch this. I can walk you through a sample dictation, period. Next line, 37 year old male came in after motor vehicle accident, no past medical history, unknown, last known normal, period, no focal deficits on exam and able to collaborate with all staff with exam, period. Fast was negative for any sort of intra-abdominal bleeding, period, will do pan scan to rule out further injuries, period. So you all saw that I just t spoke directly into this, but now I wanna show you what happens on my screen. So if you look here, this is literally me talking. Remember when I was just talking to you all? It literally transcribed everything I was saying into this. That can be helpful. Of course, you have to reread this because sometimes it makes mistakes and it also doesn't know how to put punctuation unless you tell it to. But now this is that part that I told you. I gave you a sample patient and I said 37 year old male and you'll see that it dictated it exactly as I said it. So this sort of tool can be very helpful because it saves time, it makes recording easy and it also often makes documentation easy. So now we've gone over the phone, the computer, the iPad, and then this microphone. The last thing is actually my laptop. I usually bring my laptop from home and within the laptop, I like to check for two things. The first one is this, which is a physical charger for things like this, which is my iPhone and things like this, which is my iPad. I hate to run into a situation where either my phone or my iPad is not working because believe it or not, when someone is very critically ill, I take my iPad with me and I take my phone with me. So I need to make sure that they're relatively charged, especially for 12 hour shifts.
The second thing I usually have pulled up on my laptop is actually Dynamed or some sort of external resource such as Open Evidence. Open Evidence is basically another resource where you can ask any sort of question and it pops out a great answer and I've been using it a ton or up to date. We all know up to date, we love up to date. So I usually have this here because as I'm working on this, let's say one of my patients has nephrotic syndrome, I can pull this up, I can order all the relevant labs and understand what I need to do. And that makes my job much easier because I'm using this for documentation, this for lab value following, and this for learning ultimately how I can best provide care. It may sound like a lot, but when you're actually doing this, it actually helps you save time faster in the longer run because you're creating much more efficient plans for patients. You know their lab values right away and you can figure out what and how you want to work them up. It's pretty fascinating. So now you kind of see the general approach I take. I think it can be very helpful. And of course you have things like your stethoscope, you'll have ultrasound. There's a lot of things. But when you know how to utilize your resources effectively, it makes patient care that much easier and it can be that much more meaningful because you can very quickly document what you're finding, reach out to people who you need to reach out to with that telephone, look up your lab values, and actually refer to other websites as well through that laptop. I, I think other people will have other approaches. And as I said, this can be just my personal way of sharing with you all what works for me. If you find it helpful, try it out. And if you don't find it helpful, that's fine. Just know that these sorts of technologies such as voice recording, um, note dictation, uh, and then obviously other websites can be really helpful in helping you take good care of patients. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.